Hi, this is Tablet Store UK, and we're going to take a look around the 7 inch Android tablet with integrated barcode scanner, RFID reader, and 3G. We'll take a look around the outside of the device first of all. Uh, along the top edge, there are no buttons, but you can see at the rear of the device is the barcode scanner module. Uh, there's also nothing along the left edge. On the bottom edge of the device, is the SIM card slot. The SIM card slot has a cover on it which is screwed in place to safely uh, have to keep the SIM card stowed away so that it can't be removed. That can be unscrewed and if you don't want to put the cover back on uh, then you can do that. I'll just grab another unit to show you the SIM card slot itself. So there you can see at the bottom the SIM card slot and there's a SIM card in there that just pops up on a spring and uh, pushes back down. So you can either leave that exposed or put the cover back on if you don't want the SIM card to be easily removed. On the right edge is all our connectivity. So at the top of the device we have 3.5mm jacks for both microphone and headphones. You've got a separate microphone jack, you've got a micro SD card slot, a full size USB, a mini USB and DCN for charging. We'll take a little look at the Android software. The Android version on the device is 2.2, so although it's a little behind in terms of current Android versions on consumer devices, um, I think it's probably more than adequate for most business uses. Certainly application compatibility hasn't changed all that greatly. Obviously some of the key features of the device are the data capture available through the barcode reader, RFID reader, and also through the number pad at the front, so we'll take a little look at that. Uh, if we grab a barcode, so I've simply got a, a Royal Mail sticker which is probably familiar to most of us and the barcode can be activated by the button on the front. Now the barcode can't just be activated at any time, you do have to be in a text box so that the uh, device knows to work. So if we just take an example, we go into the Google search box on the home screen, then you see we can scan and what you're seeing there is the laser scanner on this particular unit. So there's two options for this device, either a laser scanner, a 1D laser scanner, which is a symbol SE955, or a CCD scanner. So depending on how much barcode scanning you're doing, and uh, perhaps your familiarity also with those technologies, although you can give us a call and discuss that. So if we scan that barcode, it should pick it up quite quickly. Then you see it enters the text on the screen. Now while we're in the text box, what I'll also show you is that we can press in numbers with the number pad on the right hand side and also that there is a delete button on the pad on the side which is quite handy, saves you using the touch screen for something as simple as deleting characters. Now the way that most people will use barcodes is to hit enter uh, at the, or emulate hitting enter at the end of a successful scan and that can be set in the options. So I'll just show you where that is, we go into options, settings, uh, barcode settings and change here the setting for what to do after getting a successful scan so this instead of simply entering the barcode this will enter the barcode and hit enter so you see on this occasion uh, it's trying to search for that barcode on Google. Uh, the device isn't currently connected to Wi-Fi which is why it's not getting through there but basically you can see that it is trying to do the search. Just as a quick comparison this unit has a CCD scanner rather than the laser scanner and if we just scan the Royal Mail barcode here you'll perhaps be able to see when I scan uh, that the line that it is projecting is not quite as sharp and essentially that is the one of the key differences. Now you'll also see that I was successfully picking up barcodes very easily and indeed that is true of CCD scanners if they are of a good quality which this is but what you would generally find is that there's perhaps a 20% variation in the range uh, of the barcode scanner itself and also variation in the reading accuracy when the contrast isn't as good as black on white and that tends to be when people will choose laser scanners perhaps when they're trying to read long distances through shrink wrap, different shapes, sizes, round bends so in those circumstances laser scanners will perform better but as you can see here the CCD scanner although obviously uh, very different in appearance to the laser scanner to the symbol scanner that I showed you just a moment ago um, certainly it reads barcodes with, uh, with just as good efficiency uh, when the conditions are like they are here.
On the rear of the camera you have a 5 megapixel camera with autofocus and flash so you can take pretty good, cam uh, pretty good photos with this device. Thanks for watching. For more information and pricing, head to tabletstoreuk.com.